WordPress, self-hosted, .com, or is there a third option? Welcome to WordPress Vidcast, a daily video podcast featuring WordPress tutorials, theme reviews, plugin reviews, techniques, tactics, tips, and tricks so you can build a niche site, build your small business website, build your brand hub, or build your first website without freaking out. You can build a website with WordPress and I can show you how. The WordPress Vidcast. Use the hell out of WordPress. Welcome to the WP Vidcast. I'm your host, Josh Robbs, helping you use the hell out of WordPress. Today we're going to do a little face-off between self-hosted WordPress, uh, WordPress.com style where it's your blog on their server, and the third option is something called Desktop Server. Desktop Server is its name and what it is. It's a piece of software that you download onto your computer, install it on your computer, and then you can run a virtual server. I don't even know if I said that right. You put it on your computer, it acts like a server. Uh, and it's super fast because it's on your computer. Your computer talks to your computer instead of your computer talking to another server across the network. Who knows where? So it's lickety split. Uh, we'll compare those three, the pros, the cons of each of them. So let's uh, let's start with self-hosted. Um, let's look right up here. Do you see that? WPVidcast.com. That's my site. That's the site you're watching. That's where I put all these videos. Um, this is what the inside looks like. Uh, you can see some things. You got this stuff, and you have all these plugins, and look at all these extra settings, those plugins. You have Genesis, that's the theme. That's self hosted. Compare that to dot com. Look at the settings. They're different, they're smaller. Um, there's no place to add plugins. There's not no there's nothing that says plugins you know you come over here right here it says plugins add new there's no, not even a place for plugins here you can pay for the premium hosting wrong button premium hosting right there ooh look you save 40 percent it's 99 dollars a year and included is the video press plugin that is sixty dollars a year now look at this right here let me give you a hint folks if you're looking for video press uh, features come look at smart YouTube that is as good it doesn't host your stuff but if you follow my advice and get HostGator well, guess what for the hundred dollars a year you're gonna spend instead of worrying about getting video pressing and getting dot com just get HostGator use smart YouTube and it's about the damn same and it's yours so, self-hosting looks more professional. Yes, you can pay for a .com, but this is your material. If, if you're building a website, this is you. This is your content. You want as much control over, over it as possible. Is WordPress going to go away? Sure, someday it's going to go away, but it's open source. It's owned by everyone, and there's a ton of people that support it. So, it can't be just one person pulling a plug on it. It would take... A huge event like maybe technology changes and this all, this all becomes outdated that's what it'll take to make WordPress go away um, WordPress the software not WordPress.com who knows what it'll take for WordPress.com to go away but it would certainly be a lot less so you have less options you look less professional um, but you don't have to maintain it if it's self-hosted you're maintaining it you have to install it it's easy it's super easy but you still have to install it and configure it um, and you make it custom and, and honestly let's be realistic folks half the time custom is a fancy way of saying I'm about to break it I know that I've done it a million times and, and that's why I like one of my mottos is play with it break it build it better because breaking it lets you find the limits and then you can maximize the benefits um, I mean ugh. I, I, I can't say it enough this is your baby take pride in this take enough pride in it to, to want to, to have total control over to protect your website. All right. So that's that's talking about .com, WP.com versus WP self-hosted. Now let's talk about desktop server for a second. This is, now remember, this is the dashboard inside WP Vidcast. This is the dashboard at WordPress.com. And let's look at the dashboard. It is at jwrobs.dev. Go ahead. Type it in your computer. You'll never get to the site. That site is only accessible by my computer when I have desktop server turned on. 
Now, what is desktop server? Let's look at that for a second. It is a piece of software from serverpress.com. And or here's what I'm running right now. I actually bought premium. I just haven't installed it yet. Bad Josh. But anyway, here's Apache server. Uh, th this is your database. PHP is the brains. And th th okay, let's just say right here, all this stuff, all this stuff right there, that's all server stuff. It works on Mac and Windows. It includes WordPress. Uh, it supports domain nap. The domain name mapping the virtual hosts uh, that's how I got the uh, jwrobs.dv automated install it's easier than fantastico um, and you can copy WordPress websites so when you you make a website you build a website in uh, desktop server in WordPress and you, you try to decide do I want to do plugin one or plugin two what you do is you take the, the it, the website you're working on, you make two copies of it, you play with them till it breaks or doesn't work, figure out which one you want to keep, you delete the two copies and you add it to the main one. Ta-da! And now you know it works. Now if you get the premium version, and there, as far as I know there's no um, affiliate program, so I'm not going to make any money if you buy this. Um, but it provides support for WordPress multi-site, which we haven't even gotten into. You can export websites you can import websites which means you can make copies of your live website play with it and export the changes if you want to uh, you get better support and it supports some Dreamweaver stuff that I don't mess with Dreamweaver so I don't know so that's what desktop server is um, and it looks just like just like the the self hosting I mean I, I just installed it. I haven't even updated it yet um, but like like let's compare this Let's compare adding a theme. Click Appearance, Themes. Appearance, Themes. And Appearance, Themes. All right, back to the self-hosted. There we go. That's the Nitrous modified. Uh, but Nitrous is the one we're using. It's part of Genesis. And I have the option of installing more themes. And I can do that by this fancy search. Or I can upload going to the desktop server version it's the same thing I don't have nitrous installed but I could install themes upload or search now let's go to the dot com very different very different now what I can do is search let me search for here's a fusions a free one I use a lot it's pretty awesome Oh, it's not even available. <clears throat> it's a free theme available through WordPress.org, and I can't even use it here. It's free. So here's here's the way I look at it. You have three very similar but different tools. You have three knives. You have a steak knife, a bread knife, and a butter knife. Sometimes you can use them interchangeably. Sometimes they're close enough that it doesn't matter. But generally speaking, they're best at what they're the best at. There's a reason why they're different. It's because they serve different purposes. So, here's my suggestion to you. Use a self-hosted WordPress blog when it's your business site, when it's your site. Use a .com, WordPress.com site, to start your uh, blog education. You start learning how to use it. Because on WordPress.com, if you have a question, you can send someone a link and say, look at this. Here's what I did. Here's what it's doing. Help. I'm screwed. And if you need help, I mean, shoot me an email. Josh at WPVidcast.com. Go to WPVidcast.com. Hit the contact page. Hit me up on Twitter, JWRobs. I would love to help you. Um, but at the same time, if you're doing testing on a desktop server, you can't send me a message and a link. You can send me a message, but I can't go look at your website because it's it's buried, it's hidden, it, it, it's in such a protective, protected development mode that you can't send it to anyone unless you send them screenshots or, or do a screencast. Three tools, three different purposes. Dot com to learn blogging, a desktop server to, to really monkey with all the cool features and the customization that you can do in WordPress, and then use 
a, a commercial say a, a site develop, developed by you purchased by you you've bought the domain you've bought the hosting you own it lock stock and barrel you do that for your business site and that's it three tools three different uses uh, use the right tool for the right job and it goes much smoother Till next time remember play with it break it build it better